What's up, people? So, usually what I'll do is I'll do vibe reviews of my own gameplay online, or I'll do vibe reviews of tournaments that I watched or haven't watched online big tournaments. Now, I will be doing a vibe review of CO Taku, and I will do a vibe review of my own gameplay, but right now, it seems Japan has gotten some characters, DLC characters earlier than I thought they would. And it also seems like Goichi has been playing, as you can see, a good amount of cooler on the screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch some of this cooler gameplay and see what's up with the character. So as you already saw, I think these four, or th I saw these three already. And I think this one so far was the best one of showing Cooler off, so let's watch this one right now. The battle's about to start. Good luck. So from what I've seen, Cooler looks super interesting because it seems like in neutral he has the reach of 21. And he has DPs and whatnot. Interesting supers, interesting command grab. I need to definitely see more of Cooler or play Cooler myself, but I can definitely see Cooler being good just because of his humongous reach of his mediums. He just whips his tail at you, and his tail is huge. You'll see a couple of uh, instances like that in these matches. Also, as you can see, the only character that he has from his old team, I don't know if this is a team that he's going to commit to, but the only character that he had of his old team is Bardock. He's now using Gotenks and he's also using Gold. I am not sure, actually, I'm almost certain that this is not going to be the end product for all of his team, or for his end team, but it's super interesting to me that he is even playing Gold. So I have to, I, I'm actually not paying attention at all to any of the things that were going on in this match. It just seems like he's doing Goten stuff. <coughs> and it looks like Cooler's assist is pretty fast. He comes out at the same speed as Gohan, but his DP is a couple of frames shorter, maybe like four frames. It takes four frames longer. But it also is on the screen, so it has a longer duration. So we can see some mediums. So look how far his tail actually goes out. Like, look, it hit. I wish I could rewind on this thing, but his tail has humongous range. And then his level 3 is a command grab, takes it out of the corner. And it looks pretty painful. As you see him in the center of the breath, he just gets destroyed. But yeah, his level 3 is a command grab. Um, there's also a version of it where it's a true counter. Like, a, like easily, it's like a, I don't know. Like he just sits there and he's blown. And throughout the whole time, if you hit him, it activates the level 3 and he just snatches you up. Now I wonder if you can hit him and then vanish away and then get out of it. But... Cooler's range is just ridiculous so far. Like that's what I got from watching this game. Like it seems like it's going to be super hard to play this time on the I am not sure about him. Either. See, look at him just wave the tail. Like you have to respect that. And I'm, it might be easy to catch Dragon Rush with that too. And then he, that thing that you saw, that seismic thing, that just made me out of the ground, that's just a full screen low. Cooler does not have a low slow though, exactly. But a lot of his, like, his light buttons seem kind of similar to Cell. Like his standing light, his standing jab seems similar to Cell, it's just like an elbow that he sticks out. His low light seems like it's just like Cell. He just sticks his fist out, but it's not a low. Um, apparently, his auto combo is not a true stream, which would be weird to me. I feel like I'm almost certain that's not true, but that's what people are saying. Um, I 
Dead. So yeah, that first game, we got to see a little bit of Cooler. His medium ranges look pretty insane. Um, I feel like from what from what people have been telling me, his DP has a good amount of invincibility frames, and it lingers out there for a while. So he may end up having the best DP. You can also use meter to follow up from his DP, like built in. So let's watch some matches that I actually haven't seen. Excuse me, I have the hiccups now. I don't know what happened, but yeah. So this is the new stage. I really like it a lot, and I like the music. Like in the background, you can see it shows the characters for the left side team on the left and the right side team on the right. And then under the characters, it has each character's move. So as you can see, Quiller has a lot of moves that have death in them. For whatever reason. The only move that doesn't have death is Atomic Supernova. Call out the ghost. Can you block the mix? He sparks. He still gets hit by the mix. That I don't like that spark. Cause even after you spark, the only thing well the only thing you gotta do, you should empty vanish out and then back down. Get yourself out of the car. Do I wanna try? <laughs> Looking at cooler, I think 17 is going to be the better character, but I think this might end up being the best batch, batch of DLC. I felt like both Cooler and 17 were really good. The thing about Cooler is that his blast strings can happen from so long, you can't really poke out with it all. So, you can't really mash against Cooler. That being, if you don't call, I guess it's like a Kamehameha, but I wonder if you can angle it, cause he just shot it straight horizontal, so the only thing way that would matter is somebody super dashes to you from across your uh, screen while you're jumping, and then you can use that to negate the super dash. Level 3? Nah, he doesn't level 3, he doesn't want to take him out of the corner. <laughs> he tried to poke out, I don't even think that's worth it anyway though, you're not gonna get a reach him. That was a nice DP to get out of that situation. Didn't want to get hit by the landing. <laughs> See, if he wanted to, he could have just stayed where he was and thought. That's great, Luigi, obviously. See, he's just threatening with the medium. Bardock can't even enter the area. Wow. So I'm pretty sure that could catch a super dash too. See, look at him. He's just threatening with me. I want him to medium a super dash. And Fuller's dead. So that was all the color we're gonna get to see in this video. I'm liking Cooler to be honest. Um, he's not as slow as I thought he was gonna be. The thing is, on my team, who would I replace to have Cooler? Because I don't. Right now, the person to replace, the people to replace, would either probably be for me, Bardock, or Cell. Cooler would have to be super, super good to replace either one of those. I feel like the safer bet would just be to use 17. If I use... I mean, no, no, I didn't use Bardock, because I meant Bardock over here. You have to be super good to replace him. 
The safest bet will be probably to replace Bardock with 17. And then have 17 point. Anyway, that's not what this video is for. This video is not for me to talk about my team. It's to talk about coolers. So let's see the next cooler video. I'm really liking the way Goichi is playing cooler right now. I'm not sure if that will end up being the most optimal way. It's just to stay back. And zone with a... Uh, with his humongous range, but yeah, I can see that working out. Like, I feel like Quiller would be the type of character where he'll just slowly take space from you until you back into the corner. The thing about it is, this would all be good and fine if Super Dash didn't exist. How good can, how well can he negate Super Dash is a question. Wow, guided by seven, or by the opposite. Call out the ghost. Last ghost, ooh. Call out the ghost again. You don't want to vanish out of the corner in that situation. Because if you vanish out of the corner, you can just get too late. You can't super dash. You just super dash into the ghost. Ah, now we got 2H. It's 2H. I mean, don't just super or vanish. Um, so the best thing to do in that situation would be to pop sparking, vanish, cold vanish, back dash out. Bop. He just DP. See, he didn't get hit by the beam. Just DP straight through. And here comes some more cooler. And okay, okay. So that a hit has a pretty good. For some reason, I thought it would just knock them away. I don't know why, but you can pretty easily convert off of a new until this. Nice DP. And that vanish to stay on so You can't can't poke out at that range against Polar. Polar with the cursed 2M. He could have 2 m there. Woo! He doesn't have these yet. Oh, okay. So that's why we lost him like that. He has the cell twitch. Uh, I'll watch one more gameplay and then that'll be it for this video. So this is the guy with the Sonic Fox team. Like this is he's literally just playing Sonic Fox's team. So the thing about Cooler is I'm sure he would Cooler would be a good point. But I don't know. Because I don't know how much he needs needed. <laughs> The reflex I've noticed Goichi does that every time he doesn't have an assist. He can throw out a key flash to be reflect. 
Ghost. Should have just vanished. Uh, Sparky vanished. Especially if he's gonna spark anyway. Like, I feel like if your mindset is if I survive the next combo, I'll spark. Because he's gonna die. Really. Since he didn't drop that combo. So he might as well just spark. Ooh. That, Ooh, that blood I just is. Uh, it must have been a light Alright, I might get that bar out for me. Cooler play neutral. You gotta stand up. Cooler's animation while he's throwing out his medium is also super deceiving. Because usually, with another, it's, it's a part of the reason why I think people get hit by 21 medium a lot too while they're ducking. That goes through, that move goes through projectiles. So you can literally, if you're close enough to someone and you see they're about to commit May or something, you can do that. But, uh, what was I gonna say? The reason I think so, characters who hit with their tail or something like 21, like cooler. I feel like people get hit by that a lot in this game while they're crouching because you see, if someone is going to hit you with a move, they're going to commit their whole body to it in, the, in a move animation. But with cooler with 21, they literally just turn around and move. So it doesn't look like they're going to do anything threatening. But then their tail just comes out and it just smacks you in the face and you get hit by your crowd and you're like, what? So it was very interesting to react to. That was also a very interesting combo. What? It sent them. I thought I was going to send them. That sent you back in the corner. All of Cooler's moves are just crazy. He probably got a bad dash in medium. Oh, he's fully dead. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed Goichi's Cooler. Please like the video and subscribe for more Dragon Ball Fighters content and more content period. Skin up seven cents off peace.